Hello everyone. Today Jagex added two major improvements, the Charming Imp which allows you to get something that'll pick up your charms for you while you're killing stuff, and dual wield dungeoneering things. So I'm not going to go into the dual wield dungeoneering because I don't plan on dungeoneering enough to get all of them. I have a lot of projects to do this week, and actually a test tomorrow as well which I should be studying for right now, but I thought I'd just make this quick video. And uh, along with those two updates, I'll go more into the Charming Imp later. They also added a free single item on the Solomon store, and it's the Brutal Club. And uh, I've got a picture of where you go to to actually buy it. You have to go to Wardrobe Combat Gear, and then you can get it there. And uh, it is normally, what does it say there, 126 uh, Solomon points or whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, it's a free item, so it doesn't hurt to go get it, I suppose. And it does look alright. I do like how Drygores look normally, but these aren't bad either. And uh, yeah, so that's it about the Solomon stuff. So next, on to the Charming Imp. And this is a... for some reason it only requires level 21 Dungeoneering, but it costs 100k Dunge Tokens. And so 100k Dunge Tokens is 1 mil experience. So there's not really any way to get it at level 21. As far as I know, I can't think of any way you'd be getting tokens but not getting experience. Although, maybe I'm missing something there. Uh, I, I know that when uh, Dungeoneering came out, the, the um, I believe all the Chaotix cost uh, 400k tokens apiece. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I believe they all cost 400k tokens apiece, but they all had the level 80 requirement still. But they lowered the token cost after that, because it didn't really make sense to have it so high that you couldn't get it at the level that it required. Uh, so anyway, you can buy it for 100k tokens, and then you can talk to it and toggle through a couple options, and well actually just one option really, uh, but with four different parts in it. You can have it consume charms, and it will give you a little bit of experience for them. It's really not worthwhile unless you just don't want those charms going to your inventory. You only get four experience per gold, eight per green, uh, 12 per crimson, 16 per blue. So it's really not worthwhile at all in terms of experience. It's just if you don't want that, like if you don't want gold charms, you can have it use it up. It would be interesting if they had made it scale to your level so it was more worthwhile, but I suppose it's fine. I mean, you're getting the charms picked up automatically, so can't really complain too much about any of it, really. One last thing to note about the Charming Imp is that it has a destroy right-click option. So if you die with it, it's probably gone forever. I'm not testing it out myself, but uh, just be careful about dying with it. You don't want to lose 100k tokens for no reason. Uh, so, yep, that's really it for this video, just a little bit about the recent updates. I am interested to see what the um, the Dungeoneering dual wields are going to be like, although I'm not, I can't really imagine that they'll be better than the two-handed ones, since at least theoretically it's both 150% of the damage for a, uh, a one-handed weapon at that level, but it, I don't know, some of them might be pretty cool looking. So that's really it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.